This is part 24 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to insert elements before and after certain elements on the page. To insert an element before another element, we can use before or insert before methods. To insert an element after another element, we can use after or insert after methods. Since all these four methods modify the DOM, they belong to DOM manipulation category. Let's understand these methods one by one with examples. Look at the HTML we have here. We've got three div elements and a span element. And look at the jQuery code that we have here. Look at the selector in specific, $div. This selector is going to select all these three div elements. And on that jQuery collection object, we are calling the before method. And look at what we are passing as a parameter to the before method. We are passing an h3 element as a parameter. So this before method is going to insert that h3 element before every div element that this jQuery selector returns. So this jQuery selector is going to return these three div elements. That means this before method will insert this h3 element before each of that div element. So when we execute this code on this HTML, we get this HTML that you see at the bottom as the result. Notice before every div element, we've got that h3 element, which we passed as a parameter to the before method. So that's the use of before method. Then what is the use of insert before? Before and insert before, both of these methods perform the same task. The only difference is in the syntax, in the sense that with before method, we first specify the target elements and then the content that we want to insert. Whereas with insert before, we first specify the content that we want to insert and then the target elements. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we've got the three div elements and the span element. So within our jQuery ready function, let's first find the target elements. So we want to find all the div elements and on them we are going to call before jQuery method. And to this let's pass h3 element. So h3 and then the word programming. And let's close the h3 element. So at the moment, this is how the page looks like. So we have the training courses and then jQuery C Sharp ASP.NET. And let's launch developer tools. So in the DOM, look at that. We have the span element and then the three div elements. Now let's reload the page. Look at that. Before every div element, we have got the H3 element. So H3 element with that word programming is present before every div element. So that's what the before method does. And if you notice with before method, we are first specifying the target elements and then the content that we want to insert. Whereas with the insert before, we first specify the content that we want to insert. So that's the content that we want to insert. And on that, we are going to call insert before. And then we specify the target elements. And our target elements are the three div elements. So our selector is going to be $div. So let's save these changes and when we reload, we should have the same output. So again, notice that before every div element, we have that h3 element. So now let's look at after and insert after methods. So let's find all the div elements and on this we're going to call after method and to this let's pass the h3 element and the word programming and let's close the h3 element. So what is this after method going to do? This after method is going to insert this h3 element after every div element that this selector returns. So let's save the changes and look at what's going to happen when we reload this page. Look at the word programming. This is present after this word jQuery. So the word jQuery is present within the div and then we have the h3 element uh, which has the word programming. So jQuery programming and similarly C sharp programming and ASP.NET programming. So after every div element we have that h3 element. And we can also achieve the same thing using insert after. Again just like the difference between before and insert before the difference between after and insert after is that with after we first specify the target elements and then the content that we want to insert. Whereas with insert after we first specify the content that we want to insert and then we specify the target elements. 
uh, our target elements are the three div elements so dollar dev so when we save the changes and when we reload we should have the same output but here we're using insert after method now let's discuss how to insert an existing element before or after another element so let's understand this with an example so notice what we have here three div elements and a span element now what we want to do is insert this span element you know after every div element to do that we can use after method now this span element is an existing element on this page so we want to move this you know after each div element and to achieve that we can use you know the after method so either after or insert after before or insert before all these methods can be used to move an existing element on the page you know before or after another element so let's see how to move the span element after every div element so we want to find all div elements so those are our target elements and since we want to you know insert this span element after each div element we are going to use after method and we want to find this span element so our jquery selector is going to be dollar span so let's save the changes at the moment look at where we have this span element it's present right here at the top of the body section so now when we reload the page look at what's going to happen now this span element is not present on the top it's moved you know after each div element so after each div element we have that span element thank you for listening and have a great day